Nick, obviously, let's start with Saturday, obviously, a 1-1 draw against one of the teams that have proven themselves to be one of the better sides in the league so far. What did you make of that as a result? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good game of football, I think. Um, without data, probably the best team we've played passing-wise through the, through the season. Um, but I thought they had a lot of possession without really sort of penetrating us. You know, I thought we, um, as a team, our discipline was, was, was bang on. Um, and, you know, we, we counter-attacked them once we got the ball and it actually made us play better football as well. So, um, so yeah, I think it was, uh, it was disappointing not to see the game out, but especially at 1-0 up. Um, but, you know, I think it's a, it's a very good point. You mentioned Gateshead's passing qualities. It's something they're known for under Gary Mills. Was it pleasing for you that you matched them or even more than matched them on Saturday when they approached that game with that style? Yeah, I think so. It just, you know, we... We see it day in, day out, you know, the quality that we've got in the team. It's just transferring that to the pitch. Um, you know, you, when you're playing against a passing team, it's a lot easier for you as a team to start passing it. It's when, you, when a team is proper pressing you and they're in their face, that's when you've got to show your quality and sort of pass around them as well, So, which is what majority of the other teams do. Um, so it's something that, you know, we're pleased with. We know we, got, we know we got it in abundance in the team, so it was, um, yeah, we were pleased with it. You obviously defeated FC Halifax and Torquay when they were second in the league. Obviously drew with Gateshead on, the, on Saturday with them being second going into the game. Just goes to show that it's quite tight at the top, isn't it? And you can very much beat those teams that are maybe above you in the league right now. Yeah, and if you, if you, if you want to achieve anything, you've got to beat those teams. Simple as that. Um, you know, we've, we've beaten a lot of the lower teams. Made hard work of it, by the way, but we've, we've beaten them. Um, the teams that we've played in are near the bottom. So, but... Um, a lot of teams come to our place and, you know, even when we go to their places, a lot of teams, they look at our team sheet and they, they raise their game anyway, so we've got to make sure we're on, we're on it every single game. Um, and it's good to, to know that we, you know, we, we do beat the top teams and we do perform against the top teams. Looking ahead to Saturday, Bristol Rovers away, your former club down at the Memorial Stadium. I'd imagine you've been back there quite a few times with Exeter in the Football League. Are you looking forward to that trip? Yeah, always. You know, it's, it's, a, it's always a trip that you look forward to going to a previous club, but it's, it's one that you know, I'm going now, I want to get three points, simple as that. Um, just be professional about my job and give the best for the team and hopefully we can come away with a win. And I think you had two different spells for Mr Rovers, once as a loanee and once in a permanent spell. What was your time like at the moment? Um, yeah, it was okay. It started off really well. Um, obviously, ended up with a relegation in the, the year I left, so that wasn't ideal. But um, yeah, it was okay. I thoroughly enjoyed it. You know, there's a, there's a lot of lovely people behind the scenes that um, you know do a lot for the players and look after them. And, um, obviously, the the fan base says it all really.